Hey y'all, hey, welcome to another episode of Cooking with the Jacobs. And today we are gonna do some Philly cheesesteak stuffed um, bell peppers. So I can't have bread right now. So since I can't have the bread, I'm gonna make um, my version of a Philly cheesesteak without the bread. So if you wanna see how that goes, stay tuned. Okay, okay guys, I'm back, I'm back. Um, listen, all I did was I took four, well, eight um, bell peppers and I just cleaned them and I cut them in half. That's all I did, clean them and cut them in half, just like that. And then in, I have my oven on 425 and I'm gonna put these face down in the oven for about 10 minutes, okay? And then um, before you start stuffing it. So just put it in the oven for about 10 minutes and then I'll be back, okay? All right, guys, I am back. Um, while we're waiting on our uh, bell peppers to, you know, get in the oven or whatever the case may be, let's start on our Philly cheesesteak mix. Okay, so in here, I don't have anything but um, some vegetable oil. I'm sorry, some olive oil, 100% olive oil. That's all I did was coat the bottom of the pan. And I have two medium-sized uh, yellow onions, all right? And what you need to do is you need to just saute those onions up. Right inside of there, uh, I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of salt to it. So put you like a you know, teaspoon or so of salt in there. And just let that get the sauteing up a little bit. And then that was a timer for my um, for my bell pepper. So let me let me um, check them. They've been in there for ten minutes on four twenty five. Okay, this is what they look like, and they're not quite ready yet. So I'm gonna put them in there for about another five minutes. Okay. Stick them, back, stick them back in there. Five minutes. Put my, put my timer on for five minutes. I'm going to cook it on 425. So that would have been 20 minutes. I'm sorry, 15 minutes uh, in the oven. I mean, yeah, in the oven on 425. So I told you 10. I told you start with 10. But it's really going to be 15 minutes or so um, on 425 that you need. Because what I want to do is I kind of want them to get a little bit um, cooked and a little soft. You know what I mean? Because we're going to be able to take a bite size of this. And we're going to, you know, stuff it all up into our, we're going to stuff it into our bell pepper. So we want it to be, um, you know, good, and good or whatever the case may be. And, you know, so we're going to saute these down. And then as soon as this is sauteed down a bit, I'll come back and uh, I'll show you the next step. All right, y'all, I am back. This has been sauteing for about five minutes. All right, and that is how you want it to look. That looks beautiful. All right, so what I did was I went to the store and at the Walmarts, and I found these Steakum sliced steaks. Okay, I love these. And um, I'm going to use the whole thing because they come in little sheets like this. I'm not sure if you've ever seen them before, but they're thinly sliced little sheets, and uh, they're very thin, so you're going to have to use... You're going to have to use, you know, quite a few of them to get, I need some for my whole family. So, you know, we need, we're going to use the whole pack probably. But what it is, is it just comes in between these little parchment papers and they're just frozen uh, slabs of beef. You see, they're thinly sliced already, which makes it great. So we're going to just fold in a couple of these. Okay. I don't remember if I said something about my fire, but my fire is on a medium heat. Not too high, not too low. Okay. 
right now. You see how it just breaks up? It automatically just breaks up into these little pieces. Okay? So that's why I love them. All right? You just put it in there and stir it up. It's going to automatically start breaking up for you. All right? And that way you can just put as much as you need in there. If you're not cooking for a family like I am, then you probably won't need to use the whole pack. But, uh, you know, we like things meaty and um, it's four of us. So we need to have a lot because we need to have some for, um, you know, lunch and, and all that stuff like that. So that's why we cook so much. But again, you can cook as much or as little as you want. Um, if, 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 you know, you find that what I have is too much in here, well then just use less. It's not that big of a deal. If you need more, then buy another pack. Okay, these come with about 14 individual steaks in them. And so, uh, if you need two packs, then just buy two of them. You know, as many as you need or as less as you need is fine. All right, I just got a couple of more of these. All right, so that's all my steak, right? Now, in here, you need, to, you need to season up your steak, all right? So for me, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some Worcestershire sauce, sauce, about one tablespoon and a half is what you're gonna need. Anytime I make beef, though, I use Worcestershire sauce, all right? It just, it just gives me something different to my beef and I like it, I and mean, that's the reason why I use it, okay? Now I'm gonna put a little Tony Saturies on there for a little seasoning. I'm gonna put a little pepper. I'm also gonna put a little garlic powder, just because we like garlic powder. Now, of course, you make a traditional Philly cheese steak, they probably only just put, you know, salt and pepper. But of course, you cook them with the Jacobs, baby, so we don't just do it any kind of way, all right? So that was just onion powder. And then last but not least, I'm gonna put a little bit of seasoned salt on there, okay? And now you're gonna do is you're gonna cook this up. And as soon as that meat gets done, I can show you what to do next, but you gotta make sure that meat's done. So at this point, your fire is still on a medium to, you know, it could be medium to high, if you like. But all you're doing right now is you're just mixing up all your meat, and you are just, cause that's my timer for my, uh, my bell peppers. So we're gonna take those out and sit those to the side. But you're just gonna cook up your little meat. You need all your meat cooked. That's, that's your purpose of this. All right, and then once it gets all cooked, you also can taste it if you want, just to make sure it's where you need it to be. And then if you need to add anything, you can go ahead and add it if you want at that particular time. But if not, then you're good to go, then you just wait. Okay. So we're gonna cook that a bit. Let me get these bell peppers out of the oven. bell peppers. These bell peppers are perfect. Let me just show them to you real quick. Look at that. You see that? That's, that's how you know the skin start coming off of it. You can actually pull that loose if you want, but that is perfect. It actually has been in the uh, oven for about 20, 22 minutes or so. I, um, I like mine to be a little soft you know, like as if you're roasting them a little bit. So I, I like for them to get burnt like that and, and the skin to start trying to lift off. That that makes them soft for me. I don't like my uh, bell peppers to be too hard. You know what I'm saying? All right, so now that looks good. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take a little bit and I'm gonna taste it just to see, make sure my flavor is okay before I add the last ingredient, which is my cheese, and before I get the stuff in it. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna taste it. Okay. Mm. It tastes good. It does taste like it needs a little bit of salt though. Put a little bit of salt in there. Okay. Yes, that's perfect. Alright. Now my last ingredient that I'm gonna add in here 
is gonna be some thick cut mozzarella cheese. Now you can add whatever you want. Um, I also have some provolone that's gonna go on the top of it, but inside of this mix, I'm gonna put some cheese in it. All right, Cause remember I don't have any bread and all that stuff like that, so I'm gonna get my meat, my kicks off where I can get my kicks off, <laughs> if that makes sense. All I'm gonna do though is that I'm gonna take about a handful of cheese, you know, just put it in there and mix it up. Now my oven is still on 425 after I took my stuff out. My oven is still gonna be on 425 um, because I'm gonna put these back in there and just melt the cheese. But this is pretty much how it's gonna look. I put some mozzarella cheese in there because of the bite it gives. You know mozzarella is very stringy. And so when you pull it, you can get that stringy type of effect that I love. And so that's the reason why I did that. Now, if you don't like mozzarella cheese, please just use the cheese that you like. Uh, provolone, you, you can use whatever you want, okay? Whatever cheese you have, you can use cheddar cheese if that's what you want. Okay, this is your food. You can do whatever you want to do it. But you see that? That looks good, doesn't it? Oh, look at that. Mm-hmm. Look at that. With them strings. Yes. So this is what you're going to use to fill your... Uh, this is what you're going to use to fill your bell peppers. So that's perfect. All right, now I'm about to cut this off and let's stuff some bell peppers. All right, my loves, I am back and this is our bell peppers, okay? We're about to get ready and stuff them. I just took them out of the oven and flipped them over. All right, and so this is what they look like. Now, I have um, some thinly sliced provolone cheese here from HB's, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take provolone cheese, and I'm gonna put it in each one of these. Now you're gonna take your mixture and you're gonna fill each one of these up, okay, with your mixture. Okay, so that's perfect. So you just put your stuff in there. And then the last thing you're gonna do is I'm gonna use the rest of my cheese to put it on here. I just put it in half and just put the cheese on top just like that. Still got some um I still got some mozzarella, so I'm just gonna put these on top of here, the mozzarella on top of here. It's okay. Boom. Perfect. Okay. Now we're going to put these back in the oven just long enough for the cheese to melt. So probably about five minutes or so. All right. So I'm going to put it back in the oven for five minutes and I'll see y'all as soon as the cheese is melt. All right, y'all. I'm back. Now this has been five minutes. So let's see what it looks like. Oh, that looks really good. Okay, so what I'm going to do is then, I'm going to broil this for like two minutes on high. So make sure you watch it. You don't want to burn it. Okay? Like broil it for like two minutes. Okay? All right, y'all. I'm back. I'm back. And these are the final product. Mm-mm-mm. Looks so good, you guys. All right, so y'all try it out. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. Let me know what y'all think about it, how this alternative to Philly cheesesteak came out for you. 
and I will see you next time. Cooking with the Jacobs. Okay, just in case y'all needed it, um, this is a plate up. I got a fresh salad with uh, Philly.